Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel on a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Doesn't seem a day goes by without something being announced, leaked, or a new event going into the game, which is delightful. Really excited with uh, with all this stuff going in the game. But obviously, new champions have been leaked, so we need to discuss their abilities and see how they kind of like factor into the way we play, what they'd be good for, and just kind of like just basic strategies. At the same time, kind of looking at these enemies, especially for this guy, Eric Killmonger, and how we will kind of like have a relationship with Black Panther Civil War and maybe the standard Black Panther. And before we go anywhere, look at this ice cold stare. And remember, T'Challa never freezes. So have a quick... <laughs> So let's have a quick look at the suit here. And obviously a lot of people are still kind of discussing the, the kind of usage of the Golden Panther and how that's represented or will be represented in the film. But a lot of people are saying that within the film there's going to be something in regards to him taking the tech and making it for himself. At the same time, there could be parts of the suit tech that then get kind of altered to then represent what Killmong is going to achieve. Or this could be uh, an ancient piece of of tech or kind of similar tech that then is altered in order to give him a fighting edge. So there's a lot of things with regards to this. There's not really kind of clear information I can give you about this until we see the film. And I can't wait for the film because it's going to be amazing. Killmonger is largely anticipated as a skill-based champion. It doesn't seem any other champion that it could actually be in kind of classing. You could say that it would be tech, but if we go again down that route, then we will have like constant arguments about placement of champions based on certain things. It looks the case that it's going to be skill. Uh, you could say that most of these kind of Black Panther champions or Wakanda related ones uh, that have eaten the herb, the special heart shaped herb, would then theoretically be mystics. Uh, again, if we go down this line with regards to arguments of champions based on what they should be, based on what they've consumed, based on mystical powers, then we'll be here all day arguing about what champions should be where. I think skill is the lesser of two evils and the perfect placement for this champion. With regards to his signature ability, it can be compared loosely to the way that Electro works with regards to damage punishment back. This relationship is with regards to like reverberation, the same thing if you like, uh, you know, it's like vibra vibranium on vibranium. It's like as soon as you hit something, the reverberation back is then causing you harm. It's like saying if you if you punch something really hard, then the reverberation would go back into your arm and then shatter your your wrist and your forearm. It's it's like it's like that. Essentially, the same thing applies here in that stall power has a relationship with regards to damage being dealt back at your opponent or the opponent opponent dealing it back to you. The second part of this is True Strike. True Strike is applied to this, which is kind of cool. The idea that you can put direct damage into the enemy is uh, it's going to be quite nice. So this champion will be an intense damage dealer, whether or not it's the relationship with reverberation or it's the case he's attacking out at the enemy. Could be a good defender with the guys like hitting blocked targets. So uh, intercepting and evading effectively is going to be incredibly important. Killmonger's abilities are going to mean for a pretty annoying defender, uh, kind of like similar to uh, to Black Panther's Civil War. The idea with this champion that uh, vibranium armor works in a way that he can ignore certain damage is so annoying. Uh, but at the same time, it can be really well utilized against enemies. This champion is going to be really annoying for certain people. The only effective way that I can potentially see getting Killmonger down or that kind of like vibranium armor being kind of like shrugged off is, as it says, the armor break. So look out for champions that are going to be able to apply that. Your Thors, you've got your Medusas. There's a whole host of champions in question you could theoretically go for, but I think obviously that's going to be the best part with the guys going up against them to kind of take that down so he's not as frustrating as we can see at the moment the same way that black panther civil war works with regards to like if you if you parry him whilst he's got the the armor on it does mean that obviously you're going to be stunned back and it is incredibly annoying because you do take a hammering the relationship is similar when regards to the counter punch and the idea that if you hit him while blocked he's then going to counter attack you out which again is annoying uh, so it will case be a case that you have to kind of balance your attacking with him quite well and it may be a case of like focusing more on your evading out than it is to uh, to wreak punishment on him uh, with a parry hit, parry hit, parry hit kind of method. Nothing really is happening for Killmonger's SP1. It's only the SP2 and SP3 that something actually happens with regards to extra effects. And in particular, this LP2 is the one that's more interesting. If you've got a lot of bleed on this champion, then you can trigger once per battle something. Uh, not similar to like hemorrhage with regards to uh, Hawkeye, but with regards to this champion with Killmonger, it's a case that you can have direct damage from the result of bleeds. 
which again is cool um is a little bit unique but at the same time it is similar to uh to hawkeye i'm not sure if there's going to be something in the synergy the same way that taskmaster has that synergy kind of bonus that allows hawkeye to then multiple hemorrhage champions will there be something similar with regards to relationship with black panther civil war who knows and we still need to find that information out but still the bleeds relationship is quite good and obviously it is confirmed that bleeds can be produced by killmonger and obviously will it be comparable with black panther civil war only time will tell final thing to talk about is the sp3 the idea that as soon as it's executed indestructible and unstoppable when blocked cool okay that can really apply a lot of damage and at the same time you don't have to worry too much, um, but obviously make sure that uh, you know you don't go too too ham with it uh, and uh, and kind of retire back when it's the case it has expired. Okay, so there we go. That was Killmonger. Shout out to Otriox for putting this fantastic document together. And obviously, it does look like the champion has some kind of similar relationship with regards to abilities to Black Panther Civil War. I'm not saying it's exactly like him, but the way he interacts with regards to uh, like armor and obviously the vibranium armor and that kind of like idea behind like hitting out from being blocked or kind of doing parries or kind of doing stunts is, is comparable and similar to the champion with this regard. Obviously, True Strike being in there and the way just the whole general relationship between both characters seems similar and that's a good nod to the way that both suits are represented especially in the movie and obviously especially in the game because obviously there's meant to be similarities there with regards to the film release so yeah a good champion i think is going to be a little bit frustrating with regards to uh, defense the same way that black panther civil war is but i think when it regards to like an offensive kind of attacking form this champion could be very beneficial, but I'd like to get my hands on him to kind of give him a test and kind of make sure that things seem to be like fun and enjoyable and see the whole way uh, how a Vibranium armor works and if he is going to be a champion that is going to do a lot more in the game. Maybe a questing champion, definitely not an end game champion, but a good strong quester may be better for five star, but obviously time will tell and we can do a little bit of tests when they're released in the game. So thank you very much for watching this video. I've been Richard Man. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champion Space content. And as always, I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.